The gentlelady from Connecticut is recognized for two minutes. Mr. Speaker, I rise in support. Congresswoman DeLauro is incredibly passionate about medical research and global health. She's been one of the most vocal champions on the Hill about the importance of medical research to save lives around the world. Over the past couple of years, the administration has proposed some pretty severe cuts to global health R&D. We were fairly anxious when we saw some of those proposals come through. And so we were relieved Congresswoman DeLauro showed the courage to push back. Biomedical research is one of the most important investments that we can make as a nation. She is incredibly passionate about these issues because for her it's personal. As a 30-year survivor of ovarian cancer, I'm alive because of the grace of God and biomedical research. So when she heard about these cuts, she basically stood up and said, no way, not on my watch. She urged her colleagues not to turn back the clock on life-saving biomedical research. She really stood up and shook her fist and said, look, this is something that can hurt us. She was a champion and defending the United States' continued investment in global health R&D. She was also at the forefront of saying the U.S. needs to respond to Zika, that this is a emerging threat that deserves our support. In fact, she really sounded the alarm. This is a true emergency. She really saw the importance of the U.S. responding with the expertise and resources that we had to try and fight back. She galvanized support and proposed new emergency funding to respond. I know firsthand the value and the importance of medical research. We need more champions in Congress like Rosa DeLauro who understands this personally, who's committed, and is prepared to do what it takes to get the job done. She is a true champion for global health innovation. Her advocacy, her passion deserves to be recognized. For practitioners, for advocates, for policymakers, she certainly has demonstrated her ability to stand shoulder to shoulder with those of us in this fight.